What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games or Late Novak because this video should have gone up a couple of days ago. This day we've got, well today I should say, we've got this week's Ascendant Challenge. Roll the intro, let's get right into it and I hope you certainly enjoy. Alrighty, so getting straight into the video, this week we've got this week's Ascend- Well, today I should say, I keep messing up words, we've got this week's Ascendant Challenge. It should have actually gone up a couple of days ago, and I do actually apologize, I've been fairly busy for the last, well, few weeks actually. Things have just been changing. Anyway, one of the things that I'm pretty freaking hyped about is, well, Shadow Keep, because literally it is so freaking close like holy shit i'm really freaking hyped for this and i cannot actually wait it is new content it is just new stuff it is new supers it is probably new a lot of things i'm really hyped for it i really cannot wait but in today's video again we got this week's solo ascendant challenge guide once you've actually you know gotten through this little area in itself there's gonna be these enemies here simply go through and actually take out these enemies and pretty much when you do so you can kind of you know clear the area so you don't actually get shot unless of course there actually isn't any enemies then that in itself is not really you know too much a problem simply jump up on this actual set of rocks here and and go into your inventory, pop the tincture of the good old Queen's foil, and then jump in this giant butthole. And this week it is pretty much an easy one in itself. It is going around grabbing a bunch of balls, putting the balls in a hole, and that's pretty much it. It's not really too much of a problem. What we're going to want to do in this video in itself though is as you are going around, maybe if you want to take out some of the actual blights because they can be in situations or spots where they are a little bit annoying. But uh, yeah, it's not really too difficult, it's not really too challenging this one in itself. It is actually fairly easy if you do kind of keep in mind that it is a giant circle, although you can actually pretty much just double back on whatever way you actually have gone to get back to the center. All you really want to do is get back to the center and drop this ball in the center hole because that's kind of what you got to do. Also, watch out for the knights. Sometimes they won't really do anything because they're kind of knights and they actually don't really have the greatest vision. But other times they will actually do annoying things like hitting you and sometimes even destroying you. Also keep an eye out for the actual good old phalanxes because they in themselves are definitely not actually too friendly. But in itself this one is really not too challenging. It's fairly easy, it's fairly rudimentary, it's kind of just going around pick up three of these orb things and then bring them back to the center. Then when you kind of get to the center, you're able to get something called Infinite Super, which in itself honestly is really freaking fun because who doesn't like actually using this super over and over and over again? I myself definitely do actually like it because you know, it's, it's a lot of fun using your super. But yeah, Shadow Keep is actually coming up and I myself am definitely going through and actually going to be playing on both PC and on Xbox, more probably so on Xbox, just because I kind of really like the Xbox and yeah, the Xbox in itself is something where I'm kind of, you know, aware on a lot of the things that I'm doing, whereas on the PC, I don't really have the greatest, you know, ability to use mouse and keyboard, although some people kind of just say, you know, you will get used to it and stuff like that, which yes, is true, but one of the things that I usually do if I'm playing on PC is plug in my actual control because yeah, I just, I like using the control. It's honestly easier for me, mouse and keyboard is just i don't know i get distracted very easily by other things but yeah what was i actually talking about before cannot really remember anyway this final one in itself you're gonna want to actually go around and walk up the actual ramp over here there is a good old knight that does spawn pretty much just jump past him he won't actually get you if you do jump past him quick enough and keep making your way up this actual ramp up the stairs up this little area where there's going to be more ads that actually spawn watch out for the shield guys because yeah, phalanxes with their shields aren't very friendly and aren't very nice, but yeah, it's one of those things you just gotta be aware of and take care of and try not to actually get destroyed by them. Also, one thing you can actually keep in mind is if you go straight down here, you are pretty much back into, well, the area you wanted to go to in the start, which is the middle section. So, it's not really too difficult to actually do this. It's one of those things where if you are one of these people that is running through solo, 
just, you know, keep in mind, it's not really too difficult other than really the knights that actually do chase you because knights can be not very fun. They can kind of just smack you and completely destroy you in one hit or they can kind of just smack you and not really even do damage because they're too far away. And again, phalanxes. Watch out for the phalanxes. They kind of just, they're gone with the, you know, blast from that. And then you have your infinite super from this little point here. So just drop your grenades, drop your knives, Keep using your supers because, well, you can and it's a lot of fun and you get a fair bit of actual XP from it and the knights in themselves have to be taken down one way or another and using your super is usually one of the ways that I kind of like. And also be aware, these knights can stand there and they can kind of block your way in some situations or they can kind of actually just, you know, knock you away from where you're supposed to be but it really isn't too much of a challenge once you do take out the knights because everyone else just despawns and yeah that's pretty much it let us see what we get from the actual chest is it anything good we got a retold tail okay actually that might be pretty good let me just check that out because if that is really good then i might actually give it threat detector and grave robber not the greatest rolls but still I do like the retold tail as a shotgun, it's not too bad, but uh, could be, honestly, a lot better. Let us see what we actually get from the good old, good old, uh, what's it called, uh, Ascendant Challenge, I was going to call it Ascendant Plane, I don't know why. Anyway, Ascendant Challenge, what do we actually get? We are getting ourselves some Reverie Dawn Grasps, are they got some good rolls? Please, please, hopefully. We've got Grenade Launcher, Loader and Fusion Rifle Scavenger, what else have we got on it? We've also got Special Ammo Finder, Fastball, and Momentum Transfer. Okay, this one in itself really actually isn't too bad. I might actually keep that because they do look pretty cool. Awesome. That's pretty nice. I like it. And also, let us go and get the good old Ahamkara Bones, which all you have to do is pretty much where the portal is. Go from this little point up this ramp. You can dodge or destroy these with either one. You don't really have to destroy them. I like to destroy them because they're annoying and they kind of take up a lot of space. But pretty much head on this direction and there'll be a bunch of enemies that actually spawn here. Keep on making your way along this little thing and eventually you get to this spot where you can kind of just drop down. Once you drop down to here, pretty much just run along this platform. More enemies will actually spawn. You can take them out if you want or you can kind of just, you know, do what I do and get blasted and then blast them. But yeah. One of the things, from this point, you're pretty much going to jump on this little ledge here and then instead of going further that way, we're going down straight here, which is one of those things where it's like, hey, it's kind of a bit dangerous, but it's kind of, you know, down there. So, we take a jump, as you drop, jump again, and then this is a little ledge here, jump one more time, and you're on this ledge. Pretty much, yeah, Ahamkara Bones should be here. I nearly destroyed myself, that wouldn't have been good, but uh, yeah. Um, Carbones, right here. But that's pretty much it. This has been this week's Ascendant Challenge. This has been Zach Novak. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button down below. Leave a comment. Let me know, did this video actually help you out when you actually were going through the Ascendant Challenge? Was it one of those things where you kind of just were like, hey, this guy talks too much. If you do think I talk too much, let me know in the comment section. I definitely know that I do talk too much, but I like talking. I like babbling. Like pretty much you know not being quiet it sucks being quiet especially when you're just like bored so yeah one of those things pretty much being toland in himself is also over here in the tree so don't really forget about toland because you know toland orb is in himself also fairly nice and kind of kind and also can be a little bit tricky to get to in, in some situations wait did i just fall i just fell no but oh well, that could actually be worse in itself. From when you do actually jump out of the portal though, head over in this direction and you can actually go ahead and get a, uh, what's it called? One of those chests, ascendant chest thingies. The actual, you know, glowing ascendant chest thing. And just get rid of the shrieker because, hey, shrieker, what are you doing? No, stop attacking me. Hey, stop it. How dare you? Don't do it. Anyway, yeah, jump up this little area here. Well, once you actually kind of come out of the portal, be aware if you are on the bridge, there is, well, these little platform thingies that you want to kind of get onto if you can actually make it up here. Because I myself seem to not be able to just follow them along and pretty much you get to this little 
er, watch out for knights actually because knights can blast you off here but yes just pretty much keep following along and you have to kind of take one of those little edge jumps and not really know where you're going to Oop, don't fall off like that because that's not good keep making your way along these little platform thingies you'll kind of you know keep going in a bit of a circle which can be fairly annoying but it's one of those things where it's just like hey it's destiny and some things can be fairly definitely annoying about the game but other things are so freaking cool like you know a lot of the things that are coming in shadow keep but yeah that's pretty much it this has been this week's <coughs> sorry about that but anyway this has been this week's ascendant challenge this has been zach novak hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you have click like button down below never comment anywhere. if you guys actually enjoyed this video do you guys want to see more of these videos because I'm going to upload them anyway, even if you guys don't want to see more of them. So, if you guys are one of those people who's just like, Hey, I don't like his content. Cool, good for you. That's great. Maybe my content's not made for you, but it's made for the people that do actually subscribe. The people that are subscribed, you are freaking awesome. You are amazing. And honestly, I wouldn't actually do YouTube if you guys didn't actually watch it or if you guys actually weren't subscribed because, you know, YouTube in itself can have some bad parts where, like, you can get copyright stricken on a lot of things, which... Not saying I have, <laughs> I have, but I have, maybe not of some things, but anyway, copyright's one of those things and some other things end up happening, but blah, blah, I'm babbling and bitching about YouTube. Anyway, this has been Zach Novak, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have and you do actually want to see more of my content and you guys aren't actually a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you can see up to date with my actual content and see what I do upload. And if you guys are also one of those people who have actually subscribed and you do want to stay up to date with every upload I actually do, then hit that bell notification and you'll stay up to date with all of my good content, even if my content is pretty freaking sporadic. And having those notifications on means, hey, you know when I'm actually going to upload. So, that's one of those things. Anyway, once again, this has been Zach and Zach. Do all the good stuff for me, Sharon, like Karen ever. He was Ed Sharon. But until next time, this is Zach Novak. Signing off. Peace out.